Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on a day where we have an historic storm in the Plain States that is going to be producing two to three feet of snow. It already is underway uh, across North Dakota into western Montana and widespread severe weather uh, ahead of it. Uh, in the upper Mississippi Valley today, uh, also uh, in an area further south uh, in uh, parts of Texas. Uh, and then for tomorrow, we are also looking at a widespread outbreak uh, up and down the Mississippi Valley and points eastward uh, as we head into the Ohio Valley. This is a uh, this storm is going to have a lot of impact uh, over a huge uh, geographic area. Uh, with a whole variety of weather conditions uh, from the standpoint that we have blizzard warnings in orange uh, in eastern Montana through North Dakota. We have winter storm warnings back through the rest of Montana and northern Wyoming. We have high wind warnings and wind advisories from South Dakota down southward into Texas and New Mexico. And uh, it is uh, 310 Eastern time. So uh, as we move into this evening and tonight, we're going to be start, we're going to start seeing the impacts of uh, of severe weather uh, out of all of this so here's what it looks like on the satellite in the meantime uh, just want to of course point out the fact that the weather in the northeast and down in the northern mid-atlantic states is just absolutely spectacular this afternoon after the rain that moved through this morning it quickly moved out and it quickly cleared out behind it and as a result temperatures uh, shot up uh, into the 70s rather uh, fast for the afternoon highs we've got very warm air coming up uh, the east coast and also uh, the warm air <clears throat> and gulf of mexico moisture and you can see the clouds that are down in texas uh, and into uh, louisiana and oklahoma and also uh, another heavier band of clouds further to the north uh, that uh, extend northwestward uh, into uh, what's going on up in the dakotas today and that energy extends back uh, into uh, the northern Rockies. This is a very, very large system with huge impact. And if we take a look at the radar, you uh, see that in the east it's dry. There's a little bit of shower activity going on in parts of uh, eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina. Uh, we've got some showers and a few thunderstorms developing down into Texas. But take a look at this arc that runs from uh, northern Minnesota, particularly back into North Dakota and into western Montana. That is all moderate to heavy snow that is falling there. And even the Storm Prediction Center, by the way, has acknowledged this in one of their discussions this afternoon, uh, talking about the fact that uh, this area in North Dakota is going to be experiencing blizzard conditions uh, for <clears throat> the next, uh, through this evening at least, uh, with snowfall rates of 2 to 3 inches an hour and uh, 20 to 30 mile an hour sustained winds with gusts. Uh, to 40 miles an hour or more. So it, it's even caught the attention of the Storm Prediction Center. Meanwhile, from the standpoint of severe weather, uh, we have a moderate risk of severe weather today in northwestern Montana and southern Minnesota. Uh, the enhanced risk extends down into northeastern Kansas. Then there's a bit of a break and another area of enhanced risk uh, in north central Texas. And of course, a very large area of slight risk that runs from Texas and Louisiana all the way up uh, along uh, and basically along and west of the Mississippi River uh, up into Wisconsin and into Minnesota. Now, take a look at the, the risk area for tomorrow. Uh, we have now moderate risk being indicated, and that comes with a 15%, 10 to 15 percent tornado risk from Louisiana northeastward into southern Illinois and southern Indiana uh, with enhanced risk almost but not quite up to Chicago uh, and uh, that also extends down uh, in through northern Louisiana and much of Mississippi. Also want to point out a small area of marginal risk in in the eastern half of Pennsylvania and on up into uh, south central New York state and points northward. This is for tomorrow Wednesday into Thursday morning and then on day three uh, which is going to be Thursday into Friday, uh, the area of risk shifts. We have a marginal risk of severe weather from the Florida Panhandle northeastward up through our area in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England down to northern Virginia and extending up into the middle Hudson, even the upper Hudson Valley into western Massachusetts and western Connecticut. And again, that is for Thursday. We've been kind of thinking that this, this was going to be the case uh, with, uh, with regards to how this was all going to play out going forward. So uh, let's just real quick, we'll run through uh, the uh, latest, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the latest run of the GFS. And of course, 
Uh, you see the low there, that 984 low in Nebraska with the dark blue snows over North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota. That low goes up into Wisconsin. Uh, areas of severe weather, one in Texas, another one that develops tonight uh, in parts of Iowa into northwestern Missouri and Kansas. Then a bit of a lull tomorrow morning, only to see it fire up in a big way. Look at that line of storms tomorrow from southern Wisconsin down into northern Mississippi. That's quite an impressive line. And also the GFS picking up on some showers and some thunderstorms in eastern Pennsylvania late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. That front reaches the East Coast on Thursday with some showers and thunderstorms scattered around late in the afternoon and evening. As I said, there's a marginal risk of severe weather with that. And after that goes by, weather conditions will improve on Friday. And as far as the Easter weekend is concerned, we have another cold front coming through on Saturday. And that could produce a shower or thunderstorm when that goes by. That is going to lead us to a, a dry but chilly Easter Sunday. So just that's that's the road we're on. And as far as temperatures are concerned, the uh, issue for tomorrow is that the wind is going to be more from the south or even the south-southeast. So that's going to knock the temperatures down by a handful of degrees. So maybe we're talking 60s from New York City eastward and uh, temperatures reaching into the 70s from, say, Philadelphia west and south. That's for Wednesday. For Thursday, we could see temperatures mid-70s to even some lower 80s with more of a southwest wind ahead of uh, some thunderstorms that come in late in the day. Then we'll be in the 60s on Friday, 60s on Saturday, and highs on Sunday only in the upper 40s to mid-50s with a, with a bit of a gusty breeze. And I just want to leave you with the Weather Service snow forecast map for uh, the northern plains, and you can see the area. This is up in North Dakota with 25 to 35 inch snow amounts. Uh, it's uh, it's insane, but uh, as I saw it put somewhere today, uh, occasionally it does snow uh, in the month of April, and in this particular case, it is doing it in historic fashion. Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight will of, co of course cover all of this in detail. Uh, and uh, we'll be going through this and the severe weather risks and what to look forward to as we go through the rest of the week and into uh, Passover on Thursday night and Easter weekend uh, this coming weekend. And maybe we'll sneak a peek at the long range as far as next week is concerned. Have a great uh, rest of your afternoon, everybody. And we'll see you at 730 Eastern time. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hold on. At 830 Eastern time. Tonight's show is at 830 Eastern time.